Hey everybody, I'm Dan Merle here with a review for Widows, which hits theaters this weekend. Widows is directed by Steve McQueen, whose last film, 12 Years a Slave, took home Academy Awards for Best Picture, Adapted Screenplay, and Supporting Actress. McQueen also shares writing credit on the film with Gillian Flynn, who's working on her second screenplay after 2014's Gone Girl, which she adapted from her own novel. Viola Davis stars as Veronica, who finds herself wrapped up in the Chicago underworld after a heist gone wrong orchestrated by her husband, Harry. Veronica teams up with the widowed wives of the other men in Harry's crew. Those wives are played by Michelle Rodriguez and Elizabeth Debicki to get the criminals off their backs once and for all. Also wrapped up in this tangled web are Colin Farrell as a crooked local politician, Robert Duvall as his father, Brian Tyree Henry and Daniel Kaluuya as criminals with a score to settle, Cynthia Revo as a working class mom, and Liam Neeson and John Bernthal as key members of the criminal crew that sets the entire story in motion. Now, Widows is definitely one of the most unique films I've seen in 2018, which I think works for and against it in a lot of different ways. If you're walking into the movie expecting the thrill-a-minute heist film promised by the trailers, I think you're going to be in for a surprise. Widows is a very slow and deliberate film, which I think works with mixed results. The slow pace does allow its characters room to breathe, which works for Viola Davis's character in particular, as she finds her world turned upside down overnight. And for a story as audacious as this one to work, you have to follow the characters through the process of making their decisions. And Widows never strains credulity with regards to why its characters are doing what they're doing in the film. However, there are also characters and scenes that I don't think ultimately pay off or seemed integral to the plot that made parts of the film drag. Now, I don't mind long movies, and I don't mind a movie that's a slow boil, but at the end of Widows, I walked away thinking that it, maybe it could have been a little bit more effective and efficient as a movie if it had been cut down just a little bit more in the editing room. There are also a couple of big story elements that make for really dramatic turns, but that I'm not sure entirely were necessary in telling the story of the film. If anything, they serve as distractions from a very intriguing core story of Veronica's often perilous journey into her husband's life and how to escape his sins. Now, some things I really can't find much fault with are the performances, particularly Viola Davis, who proves once again why she is one of the best actors working today, as she carries Veronica's rage, sorrow, betrayal, fear, and anger with her throughout the entire film, only rarely allowing it to bubble to the surface. Michelle Rodriguez's Linda and Elizabeth Debicki's Alice are also strong as the widows looking to make their own impact on the world and erase the memories of their husband's flawed legacies. The only performances I really couldn't get entirely on board with were Colin Farrell's and Robert Duvall's. Colin Farrell seems to be attempting some hybrid between his own native Irish accent and a Boston accent, which might not be a problem if the film weren't set in Chicago. And Duvall seems to have been given license to do really whatever he wants in this movie, which gives his performance an almost improvisational quality that I found distracting more than effective. Now, Widows has all the elements of being a fantastic movie, a prestige cast, great talent behind the camera, a timely and powerful story and themes, but I felt like it was hamstrung a little bit by some very curious creative decisions, including some story choices that ultimately don't seem to lead anywhere and side plots that don't pay off. Now, at its core, Widows is a very effective and engaging story about a group of women who come together to take control of their own lives and bring down the men out to destroy them. The payoff to that story and the performances supporting it are what tipped me towards recommending this movie. However, be prepared to take the good along with the bad. Now, while I ultimately enjoyed Widows, there are more creative misses along the way than I really expected from the creators who made it. And with a little tweaking to the story and the pace of the film, I think Widows could have found a broader audience than it might ultimately reach. And while not every film will be for a wide audience, I think there are some who will be turned off by certain aspects of the film's storytelling that don't appreciably enhance the film overall. There will definitely be some passionate defenders and probably some people who will not enjoy this movie at all, and I'm not really in either camp, but I really wanted this to be a movie that I loved. However, considering how badly films can go off the deep end sometimes, I'm not really complaining about being somewhere in the middle. Have you seen Widows? What did you think of it? Let us know in the comments section below. And as always, stay tuned here to Screen Junkies News, where we will be bringing you the latest reviews and updates in the world of entertainment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.